Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner broke a sweat on Saturday as they headed out for a run together, the day before enjoying a family day out with their three children. The first daughter, 36, and her husband, 37, were seen leaving for their jog around 11 and returned around 12.10 p.m., with Jared commenting that it had been a hot run. Ivanka wore black leggings and a matching, long sleeve t shirt on the warm day, which saw temperature highs of 84 degrees Fahrenheit, while Jared went for a short sleeved, light gray t shirt paired with black shorts. Both White House advisors wore baseball hats during their run, with Ivanka going for a pale beige hat with the stars and stripes on it. Jared, meanwhile, supported his home team of the Mets, with a black hat with their logo on it. Jared flashed a bright smile as he, and Ivanka returned from their workout, while the first daughter seemed to remain focused on her stride. The pair have been known to run together and have frequently been pictured going for a jog around their neighborhood on weekends. The following day, Jared and Ivanka were pictured heading out for a bit of family time with their three children, Arabella, 6, Joseph, 4, and Theodore, 2. Jared carried his youngest as the family left together, with Theodore clutching a water bottle on the high afternoon, with temperatures reaching 81 degrees Fahrenheit. The father of three dressed down in a casual black t-shirt, beige pants, and white tennis shoes, which he paired with aviator shades. Ivanka, meanwhile, also cut a relaxed silhouette in jeans and white tennis shoes matching Jared's. She donned a $295 long-sleeved, blue and white striped top with pleats in the back by Veronica Beard, and also wore a pair of sunglasses on the summery day. The first daughter wore her hair down in a casual do and finished off her outfit with a pair of stud earrings. On Monday, Ivanka was seen departing her home at the back of her Secret Service SUV while reading the Wall Street Journal with a newspaper's World News section dedicated to her father's dealings at the G7, clearly on show. The White House advisor, the dressed in black with her hair, pulled back thanks to a headband, seemed focused on the news as she headed out to work a little before 10 a.m. Her husband was seen leaving around 7.35 on Monday morning, the dressed in a dark gray suit that he paired with a pale mauve shirt and a deep coral red tie. President Donald Trump hurled the weekend G7 meeting of industrialized nations in Canada by agreeing to a group statement on trade only to withdraw from it while flying to Asia. He complained that he had been blindsided by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's criticism of his tariff threats at a summit-ending news conference. The president took more swipes at Canada and its prime minister over trade issues as he settled in for a summit with North Korea in Singapore, contending that fair trade is now to be called full trade if it is not reciprocal. In tweets, Trump insulted Trudeau as dishonest and weak. The attack on a longtime ally and its leader drew sharp criticism. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who also attended the summit, told German public television that she found Trump's tweet disavowing the G7 statement sobering and a little depressing.